Hello YouTube, this is Charter Yu-Gi-Oh! here, just talking about my impressions of some of the new products that are coming out in 2014. Um, first we have the Light Sworn Structure Deck, which comes out tomorrow, actually. Everyone knows all about that, so there's not a whole lot to say there. Um, the Super Starter Space Time Showdown is the first thing with the Pendulums. The Pendulums in it are not very good. They work alright if you have Odd Eyes Dragon, which comes out in Duel's Advent. But I don't think it'll impact the meta too much. Um, there's an, I believe there's a promo pack in it that comes with an ultra rare dark hole, which kind of upsets me because like I have a turbo pack ultra rare dark hole that I worked really hard to get, and it also includes the OCG ruling changes, which hit the day after NAWCQ, which I am going to be going to NAWCQ. But all the ruling changes come after that, and I'm pretty excited for those because I think those will be good for the game. Astral Pack 5, we know very little about. I heard from an anonymous source, which you can choose to take me seriously or not, that these have already started to ship. It was at a UPS distribution center. He saw Konami cases labeled Astral Pack 5. So these are already starting to ship to game stores, but I can't say who or was or cite any source beyond that because we get the person in trouble. And obviously this is the internet, so believe me or not. Um, Battle Pack 3, we haven't heard anything about this. I don't know what to expect for Battle Pack 3. It has 10 packs and one of 5 game mats in the battle kit. Uh, Duelist Alliance comes with Pendulums, um, Odd Eyes, um, Yang Zing, Shadow, Stellar Knights, which I think these three things will influence the meta a lot more than Pendulums will, at least for a while. Mega Tins. I'm not really sure why they're moving away from the traditional tin format because I really like traditional tins. But if they think these will sell better, it comes with a 247 card set. So it's basically a whole other legendary collection. It comes with new Mega Packs, but it says no rarities have been changed in the Mega Tin Packs, which means all the reprints. Each Mega Tin has three secrets, three ultras, three supers, and rares and commons. But this means that old versions of cards from core sets, like it means we get Ultra Bujin Yamato, Secret Star Eater, all those kind of reprints, which I think this will really hurt the value of having the original version of stuff. So I'm not sure how I feel about this, because I still think that collectors absolutely get screwed over in this game, and I think I'll do a video on that sometime. But people who want to collect like classic versions of cards or nostalgia, you can, really can't do that in Yu-Gi-Oh! Because everything is reprinted so many times that it's just like, hollows are so easy to come by now, so there's just not a whole lot of point to that. Um, Duelist Alliance Deluxe Edition says it comes with three preview cards from the following set versus the previous two. And then 5D's Legendary Collection comes with a Shooting Quasar, Black Rose Dragon reprint, a Stardust Splash, which is a new card. And then two Nordic monsters, which means Shooting Quasar and Black Rose are going to become ridiculously common they're, if they're coming every Legendary Collection. Black Rose is fine. It's an old card. People need Black Rose. Why do, I don't get why Quasar had to be, though, because now absolutely everyone is going to have a Shooting Quasar Dragon, which is, unless they're planning on banning it or limiting it or really limiting the effectiveness of Synchro Decks. I think that is really going to suck if everyone has access to Quasar. It's really easy to build Quasar decks. Um, and finally, Noble Knights of the Round Table box set. It comes with an entirely foil with a new rarity Noble Knight deck, which this is kind of neat because all the Noble Knight cards are really expensive. But uh, Noble Knights have a pretty good um, fan following, I guess if you want to say that. So this kind of screws over people who have been collecting Noble Knight cards for a while because they have a lot invested in them. Then it, it says it comes with a three card power up pack where you can get platinum rare versions of cards to go great in any deck like Effect Veiler or Forbidden Lance. So probably more staple reprints in yet another rarity which I guess is fine but again like people who've been playing for a while and have ultra rare MSTs or super rare dark holes and that sort of thing still kind of get screwed over there. And it comes with 70 round table card sleeves and rubber game mats. So, lots of cool stuff coming out. I think this is really going to hurt the value of stuff, as always, but it's reprint season, you expect that. And I still just think collectors kind of get screwed over, but maybe this game is not geared towards collectors. But that is a debate for another day. So, those are different products I want to talk about, and peace out, YouTube.